Hello and welcome to another community tutorial for Cocos 2DX and in this tutorial we're going to go over the basics of Cocos 2DX. We're going to just do a brief overview of the couple of different files that are created by default and just how it works. So I've already just got a new project generated. I'm just going to open it up in Xcode. Doesn't really matter what you're opening it up in this tutorial because it's just a general overview. So what we've got is an app delegate and a hello world team. So the first of all, we'll just go to the app delegate. This is essentially, you can consider this as the heart of your application. It basically controls your program. This should only be used for application wide events. If we just go to the CPP, we've got application did finish launching. It's pretty self explanatory. This runs once the application has well finished launching. It sets the OpenGL view, uh, this line here, I mean, not that one there, that's a comment, but I mean this one here will actually allow you to show the debug information, so frame rate, etc. This one allows you to set the frame rate, and as you can see, it says here by default it's set at 1.0 divided by 60, aka 60 frames per second. If you can achieve 60 frames per second in your game constantly, that is fantastic. That is what you want to ideally have. If it's a little less, it's not too much of an issue. The issue, the issue occurs when it's jumping from a relatively low frame rate to a high frame rate but if you're factoring uh, in frame rate as well into your gameplay then it shouldn't be an issue at all unless it gets really low and the next thing we create the scene that we're going to be running first and then you run the scene then the last two functions are application did enter background so imagine if you click the home button the application enters the background so it stops the animation and as you can see there's a line comes to here which pauses background music you want to pause the background music if you have background music on if you're on an iOS device it will automatically pause if you're on an Android device it will I mean it won't pause it so if you click the home button you'll still be playing and users don't want that and it's literally just that simple it's just that line and when he enters the foreground again once the user starts running it it starts the animation up and then you'll want to resume background music again only if you have background music in your game so anytime you want to use anything to do with Cocos 2DX you have to include this header here, which is include cocos2d.h. And if we just go to this file, jump to definition, it's literally a bunch of other headers. That's all it is. And then obviously, if we go to one of these headers, let's just go to the CC action one, jump to definition. And as you can see, this is obviously just a bunch of code. This is just a header. And then the actual implementation will implement these features. Instead of you writing at this code several and several times again, you just literally call this function. So, for example, get duration or whatever you're doing. Also, all of this is within the Cocos 2D namespace. I mean, at least the their functions are as in director. But you don't need to do Cocos 2D colon colon then director etc. Because you've got this using underscore ns underscore cc. Basically, it uses the Cocos namespace. And if we just right click there, jump to definition so you can see what it actually does. It's, it's essentially the equivalent of saying using namespace Cocos 2D because without this line here or even in theory just this line on its own you will have to every time let's just go back to app delegate if this wasn't here save it you'll get errors because as far as this is concerned it doesn't exist but Xcode is pretty cool let's click on that click there and it includes the right namespace okie dokie so if you just go to your hello world scene The hello world scene is a CC node, which is the main element. Anything that gets drawn or contains objects that can get drawn is a CC node. The most popular CC nodes are CC scene, aka what we've got right here, uh, CC layer. I'm saying CC because even though that's deprecated, you can still use it. Recommend you don't use it if you're on version 3, but it's just, sorry, my mind's actually one second. <laughs> Undo that. Go back here. Yeah, so we were just talking about CC node is the main element. Anything that can be drawn or contains things that can get drawn is a CC node. CC scene is a CC node. CC layer is a CC node. CC sprite, CC menu is also a CC node. Some of the differences. CC scene contains objects that can be drawn, whereas CC sprite is an object that is drawn. 
CC layer is basically a subclass of CC node that implements the touch events delegate protocol. Basically what it allows you to do is accelerometer input and touch input. So if you want a touch input, you need to have this public Cocos 2D layer. So you need to inherit from it. CC scene should be used to draw everything that you want to draw. And obviously we just got the create scene function and in there we just create the scene, create the layer and add the layer as a child to the scene and then we return the scene. We've also got the init function which is the initialization function and in there you initialize anything that you want to set up. So maybe you've got a player, you want to set up its sprite, you want to set up its position, maybe size and you can do that all in here and you can also add it as a child as well. So the next function is the is a menu close callback. This is just so you can click a particular button, which is this one here. This menu button here. So obviously this isn't a required feature. This is just something that's there by default. The final one is just a create function for the hello world class. Again, as you can see, they've included the Cocos 2D header. You want to make sure you do that. And in here, uh, we've got the init function as mentioned before. It just briefly checks does the has the layer been initialized? If it has, then it returns false. And that is it. That is pretty much it for the overview of Cocos 2D. This by no means is the entirety of Cocos 2D explained. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystem.co.uk. The email will be in the description, or you can make a comment on this video, or alternatively, you can directly message us via YouTube. So if you have any questions, feel free to message us. And as usual, thanks for watching, and have a nice day.